What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. Just a few minutes ago, Apple issued press conferences for an upcoming September 1st media focused event. Let's go and run through what I expect them to announce. So traditionally, Apple has held September events to launch new iPods, and I expect this year to be no different. I think we're gonna see is finally a brand new iPod Touch with that long rumored and much speculated front facing camera, uh, which should give users of the iPod Touch access to FaceTime. Uh, traditionally now with the iPhone 4, FaceTime has been based on a phone number to phone number, uh, but we've seen the reports that perhaps FaceTime can be used with an email address. Uh, so we'll probably see it just Wi-Fi based as well, uh, but if you have an approved email address connected over Wi-Fi, you'll be able to get your FaceTime on, and also that should work uh, with an iPod Touch 2 and iPhone 4. Also, speaking about the iPhone 4, one of the great things about it was its high definition retina display. I expect to see that uh, transferred over to the iPod Touch as well. I think we're probably going to see a new redesign of the iPod Touch. I don't think we're going to see the same design uh, that we have on the iPhone, certainly. That metal band, which people have been plenty of talking about. Uh, no need to really have that full band uh, going all the way on the iPod Touch, since the left side is for the cellular radios uh, and the right is for Wi Fi. Uh, so we may still see that internal radio uh, and perhaps a bit of a redesign. Probably see the prices stay just about the same. Uh, storage increases perhaps up to 128. Uh, probably 64 gigs though will still be uh, the top of the line. Uh, sort of the next rumor we've been hearing a lot about is Apple TV. Uh, you might not remember when Apple TV was first announced, it was actually called iTV, and then when it came to launch time, Apple renamed it Apple TV. Well, it looks like they're reverting back to that iTV name, and we're going to finally see a redesigned Apple TV. We haven't seen a redesign since it first launched many, many, many years ago. Uh, presumably, it's going to be the size of an iPhone. I have a little bit of local storage, but presumably be cloud-based and storage, meaning your storage will be stored uh, all online. Uh, it should be running the same 1 GHz chip that we see powering uh, the iPad, the new iPhone 4, and probably also the new iPod Touch. Uh, it's also going to be getting some sort of app support, so there will be uh, an app store meant for the Apple TV, maybe like a Hulu app and all kinds of other things. Uh, the potential for apps really are in the hands of the developers. It could be a lot of fun. Uh, we may also see the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad serve as a giant remote uh, for this new Apple TV. Uh, which should be very cool. Again, I'll be running a modified version of iOS. And again, speaking about Apple TV, we may also see some updates to iTunes that will sort of play in uh, with that new Apple TV or iTV if it gets renamed. There have been a lot of rumors of 99 cent TV rentals, uh, which would be quite nice if you want to watch a TV show. 99 cents, you can get access to it. Uh, save the hassle of having to go and buy the full episode for a bit more. Uh, certainly could be a really nice addition uh, to iTunes. Uh, and speaking of iTunes, uh, Apple bought a streaming music service called Lala a little while ago. We haven't seen the fruits of that acquisition pay off yet, but we may finally see a cloud-based iTunes, uh, which would be fantastic. So you could access your whole iTunes library uh, from any computer. Uh, whether we'll see updates to the iPod Classic, I don't know. We may also see a new iPod Nano. Uh, it's traditionally what we've seen. We haven't heard many rumors uh, about a new Nano. I'd expect probably the same design perhaps an improved camera and a bump in storage. Uh, the iPod Shuffle probably will stay pretty stagnant. I haven't heard much about that. The Shuffle line may be discontinued. Perhaps a Nano line will drop in price and sort of filter right into where that current Shuffle is now. So what do you guys think about these rumors? What do you expect? You think I'm off? Uh, you think I missed something? Really curious to hear what you guys have to say. Anyway, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and of course, come September 1st, we will be covering everything uh, minute by minute on the Twitter feed uh, and on the website, so be sure to stay tuned uh, for the Twitter feed. Go to uh, twitter.com slash john lakers and we hit our Twitter limit. We bump on over to twitter.com slash techno buffalo. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.